Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we are taking a look at two brand new Civivis that just dropped today. And I have to say, this is a quite the unique duo to drop together because what we have here is uh, the sass and the class when it comes to uh, different types of EDC knives. Uh, this one here is one uh, pretty different from any other Civivi you have seen. This is the Civivi RS71. And to go with that, we have a, uh, a more office-friendly, a little more uh, classy type of knife in the Civivi Primatrox. Now, before I go any further into this duo review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, uh, let's take a look at both of these knives because I've been able to have these now. Uh, I've carried both of these in the pocket for about a few days. Uh, three days for this guy and I think four days for the Primatrox. This was uh, has been quite the office carry for me recently this week. Uh, both pretty nice knives. Uh, obviously, some very... Uh, different things going on here with the RS-71, but uh, let's take a look at some overall specs on both of them and then uh, kind of just flow through the review process. Uh, starting off with the Civivi Primatrox, we have an overall length of 7.89 inches, a blade length of 3.48 inches, and a blade thickness at 120 thousandths. Blade material on this guy is Nitro-V, which is always hard to see because Civivi does a really good job of making it very, very small, but it's there. Trust me, Nitro-V on the blade steel. Drop point style blade, uh, a flat grind with a handle length coming in at 4.41 inches, and a handle thickness at 470 thousandths. Uh, have some very nice Gaborsha wood scales on this version here. There's also a couple G10 options, uh, a liner lock, me liner lock locking mechanism, uh, a user of a right or left hand tip up carry, uh, weight coming in at a pretty average 3.63 ounces, uh, price, very, very good price here of $55.25. Very, very nice price on this. I, I really like this offering. You, there, the argument can be made that, yes, there's a lot of other knives that look like this. But we're also at a point in time to where, uh, you know, a, a drop point, a three and a half inch drop point blade is, is going to look like other knives. Uh, but we'll talk more about that here in a second. Now let's take a look at some specs on the RS-71, which is, this is just a fun knife. Uh, this is an overall length of 9.31 inches, a blade length right at four inches with a blade thickness at 120 thousandths. Blade material on this one as well is Nitro V with a, uh, a spear point style blade. We could also call it a, uh, a dagger with a false edge. There, this is the only sharpened edge right here. This is uh, not sharp at all. Get up close there, you can see. Uh, no chamfering or anything, just a complete false edge. Uh, we have a hollow grind on this, which adds for a little bit of extra sliciness. Uh, with a handle length of 5.31 inches and a handle thickness of 510 thousandths. Material on this is G10 and uh, kind of a unique little pattern they have on here. Obviously multi-layer. You kind of have a black top with some milling into it to show the uh, kind of like the ivory uh, ivory color. Kind of like the uh, a little more of like a milky creamish white type of color. Uh, beneath that black, and we have, of course, a liner lock on this for the locking mechanism, me, bleh, locking mechanism as well. And we have a user of a right hand only tip up carry on this guy, so no left handy, uh, no left hand options on the RS71. Uh, designed by Rob Saniscalci. Um, you guys have probably seen some other uh, other work from him that has uh, dropped through Vostied recently. Uh, he designed the RS Chaos and has, uh, I believe, maybe one other production model out there. I think he's a little newer name uh, when it comes to uh, production knives through companies like Civivi and Vosti. But he has some excellent designs and is an incredible knife maker in his own rights. Uh, and the price of this one is a little up there for a Civivi anyway. Uh, we're looking at $91.80. Usually for Civivis, you're looking more in that $55 to $79 range. But I will say this is a lot of knife. Um, I will say, though, for the, the overall price of it, I find it to be, you know, a fair price. This isn't one of your, like, blockbuster value prices. But it's still uh, a very, very solid knife, the price. And you have a titanium clip back here, which also factors into that as well. Uh, let's do some size comparisons. First, we'll go with the Primatrox. Or, you know what? Let's just lay them both together. Why not? 
Um, and then we'll put some next to them to uh, do some top and bottom comparisons. So clearly the RS-71 is just huge. When it comes to other Civivis, uh, the, the Praxis is a very good comparison, but it still kind of pales in terms of overall length. Um, another Civivi that would probably work well with the Primatrox is this beauty right here, uh, the Vision FG designed by Snex. If you haven't checked this knife out yet, you're insane not to. This is one of the best Civivis ever made. Still love it. Um, and yes, very good size comparison there with the Primatrox. And uh, what else do we have here? I think we got some other ones that we can throw out on the table. This might be a better size comparison. The... Uh, the CJRB Prado, maybe? No, it's still short. Uh, yeah, the RS-71 is just a big, stinking knife. Uh, this one might be better. Let's, let's throw this one on the table real quick, and then we'll call that a wrap on size comparisons. Uh, the Frack from CJRB, that's got to be. There we go. That's a little better. But as you can see, as you all know, the Frack is a big fracking knife, and it is uh, still much shorter than the RS-71. So the RS-71 is quite the little pocket sword. Uh, which is fun. That makes for a fun carry, in my opinion. Uh, really, really like what they got going on there with that. Uh, one more comparison for the Primatrox. We'll throw the Conspirator out there because everyone knows the Conspirator. Uh, nice little wooden line up there. So there you go. There's your size comparisons. Uh, and let's get to talking about these. And I want to address, uh, before we get into the fun RS-71, let's talk about this Primatrox because... There's a lot of good things going on here, and I think a lot of people are going to say, oh, this looks just like the Ferrum Forge Gen. Well, y yes and no. I mean, yeah, it's a drop point blade. It's got a forward finger choil. It does. But it also has the handle that is very similar to the Civivi Ortis. So what I'm seeing here is um, there was the Civivi Ortis, and then there was another Civivi that they used, the Brigand, maybe? The Civivi Brigand, I think it was the Civivi Brigand, Brigand and the Civivi Ortis that kind of shared the same handle and just had different blade shapes. I kind of see the handle of the Ortis here along with just kind of a more classy, clean, little elegant drop point. That's pretty much what you have here. Uh, really nice size in general. Uh, really like these Gaborsha scales. I think they look great. And of course you have that, the better looking clip that Civivi has been using recently that you guys know I used to not like their clips. Uh, I really, really like this slight change they did. I think it looks a lot cleaner and a lot better. Uh, and really there's not a whole lot special to say about this knife. Um, it's just like all the other Civivis. Very, very smooth, extremely good action. The ergos on this is great with the forward finger choil and the nice, uh, you know, just smooth handle shape. It's going to work good for a lot of hands out there. I mean, unless you have some really, really big meat paws, um, this is going to be a great knife for just about anyone's hand. In all honesty, I, I don't see a lot of people having an issue with that. Um, with the left-handed option, lefties, you'll love it too because it's just as smooth in the left hand as it is the right hand. And it just looks really good. I mean, it's a very solid office carry. Um, like I said, I carried this for just about a whole week at the office because it was just a really, really nice one to have in the pocket. Uh, very deep carry on the clip, in and out of the pocket just fine. Pretty much disappears in the pocket, so no issue there. And yeah, just a very, very clean, simple knife. Hard to go wrong with it. Yes, you may. I, I think the only reason someone wouldn't buy this is because they maybe they have another knife that looks similar like it. Because th there are other knives that are, you know, that can look like this. If you have the Civivi Brigand, which I think that's the one I'm thinking of, uh, that one's kind of similar to this. Just it's got thumb studs and it's still got the choil, but a little different type of drop point blade. Um, but no, I don't think Civivi did anything wrong here. What this reminds me of, it also kind of reminds me of like a, an, an Elementum XL. I mean, obviously this looks different from an Elementum, but this is like, imagine an Elementum XL, and this is kind of what you would have. Uh, I like it. I have no, no real complaints about it. Very, very smooth, really nice flipping action. And yeah, extremely solid offering. And for 55 bucks, I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, very, very satisfying, smooth drop shut. And uh, yeah, just got all the clean lines. So a great casual gentlemanly style uh, EDC right here. And then you go from the business to uh, another type of business. <laughs> this has all the sass in the RS-71 here. And uh, this is something that I think a lot of people would enjoy, especially if you just like big, different kind of out there knives, a, a little more uh, 
exotic or, or loud. I think loud is a good word for this knife, not in terms of the actual sounds it makes, but just the, the design. I mean, the design yells at you. And it is, uh, you know, it's got that technical vibe. It's got those Italian stiletto vibes. It's got a lot of fun things going on. I am a big fan of this clip. It's not like a true deep carry clip. You're still going to see a decent little amount of the knife in the pocket about that much. But I'm fine with that. Like, I like the unique design of this clip. I just think it looks really good. It's got that big old lanyard hole there. So if you want to attach a lanyard, you can do that. I could go with or without it. I don't really care about that. But yeah, I just like the clip. It feels really, really good in the hand that clip does and in terms of the grip you kind of have like i said it's the italian stiletto vibes here uh you have basically a flipper a, a standard flipper on the front and back but very different uses um and i got a lot to say about this because this is not used for what you may think it's for i tried that and it did not work but the regular flipper the regular flipper fires amazingly well for such a big blade this blade rockets out Super, super smooth. Um, you have a nice slicey hollow grind here. Even though it only goes to the middle of the blade, it's still going to work fine for just about everyone. I mean, unless you're looking for an absolute razor of a blade, this still has a very nice uh, slicey presence to it. We're talking about 19 thousandths behind the edge, about 17 thousandths behind the edge on the Primatrox. So yeah, no uh, no issues in terms of uh, sliciness and just the ability to cut in general. Both knives are great for that, as w as would be expected from Civivi. Um, but yeah, then you kind of have the little aesthetic notches there. Um, I, obviously, those serve no purpose. They just look cool. Um, and yeah, even even though it is a false edge on the dagger, the spear point blade shape is still going to make for a pretty nice uh, level of. Uh, pierce to, to pierce to pierce i was gonna say like pierceability but that kind of sounded dumb um so it would be a good knife for piercing or kind of like the little jabbing actions if you have to rip open a bag or something but yeah uh nice blade then you get into this area here and the action so the action's incredibly smooth very very nice action thumb studs are also really really good uh pretty easy knife to middle finger flick it's just a longer handle so the position you have when you go to middle finger flick you kind of have to pay attention there but uh very nice very fun knife to deploy and when it comes to deploying this area up here so this does not work like the Emerson Wave opener. I don't know if Civivi was trying to make that happen, but that was the first thing I did. The moment I got this knife, I put it in my pocket and I pulled it out in hopes of kind of, you know, this area catching and just doing that, but it, it doesn't. It does not work. Um, I got it to halfway work. I tried it like 15 times and I got it to the point to where the blade would come like, this much out or partially out but i could not get that emerson wave action going so my one caution to everybody about this knife if you're trying to use it for the emerson wave deployment you're you're probably not going to be able to if this knife was designed for that i would say civivi failed pretty miserably because i had a lot of problems trying to do that now with that being said I don't know if that was designed for that. I, this could have just been designed to give you more of the Italian stiletto vibes and not try to do any type of Emerson wave opening whatsoever. So um, I don't really know for sure one way or the other. I just, when I saw it, I think the first thing that probably went into a lot of people's minds is, can that tab be used as the Emerson wave for pulling it out of the pocket in immediate deployment? My answer to that is no, just didn't work for me. But you can use it. To front flip the knife so it does bring a level of deployment and fidgetability and i think let's see can you i haven't even tried this until just now Nah, you can't really i thought maybe you could like middle finger flick the top of it, it that's kind of tough uh but you can just regular front flip it and you know it, it it's it's a weird feeling at first because how often do you do that on a knife but if you kind of put like your finger that with your the, the part of your finger thumb that's right under your nail here and just kind of just give it a front flip that kind of works so my ultimate conclusion on this area up here is yes you can use it for deployment but i think ultimately it's just there for more of the italian stiletto type vibes and more just to make it look a certain way as opposed to function a certain way i guess the best way i would say the primary methods of deployment on this guy are definitely still the thumb studs which were great and the flipper which works exceptionally, extremely, phenomenally well. I 
paired those three words together and they probably didn't need to be paired together. But uh, yeah, really, really nice flipping action on this. Really enjoy the flipping action and uh, really like the thumb studs. So extremely smooth action. Very, very drop shutty, shake shut easily, very, very smooth. No issues in the action department for either one of these knives. And at the end of the day, it, it's two very solid offerings from Civivi. Um, yeah, both uh, one that's uh, a little more general and clean looking and one that is just out there and loud and proud and uh, still a really, really cool, unique knife, especially if you're looking for a bigger blade or on that four inch mark. Uh, two pretty solid options here. Two really good options, in my opinion. 9180, 55, uh, Typical Civivi greatness, guys. Very good action. Good looks, great value uh, for the Primatrox. And then the value on the RS71 is, you know, it's still solid. I mean, there's uh, there's not many knives under $100 this big that, you know, that, that, that are this smooth and all the good things. So let me know what you guys think of those. Um, very interesting release from Civivi. I'm really excited to see what they have left for the rest of the year because we're not even halfway through. Still a lot to go. And uh, that, those are the two new Civivis for this month. So let me know what you guys think of that. Really hope you enjoyed this uh, dual review. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.